This is part two of how to search on the bibliography of British and Irish history. What's in a record? So you've entered your search terms. Now it's time to click on the results. I'll stay with the search I did in part one. Migration, London, Charles Dickens, 1837 to 1901, which filtered down to just one match. So click on search and then click on the result. This is the full record opened up. Like the advanced search screen, it's divided into bibliographical details at the top and classification details at the bottom. The first field tells us what type of resource this is, an article in a book, which means a book chapter in a collective volume. Next it gives details of the author, which is linked to all their other works on the BBIH. Then we have the title of the article or book chapter. This is followed by the type of publication, which in this case is the collective volume that contains the chapter. By clicking on the title of the collective volume, you can see the other chapters. Although please note, we only add chapters that are relevant to British and Irish history, so sometimes there may be only one or two chapters from a particular volume. The next field is the ISSN or ISBN number, depending on whether it is a journal or a book. Now this next field is a really useful one, particularly when you are doing your references. Where possible, we always add the pages of book chapters in collective volumes as well. This information is often very hard to find if you no longer have access to a physical copy of the book and you didn't make a note of it at the time. So including it on BBIH can save a lot of time and effort and make sure you get good marks for your thorough referencing. This last field in the section confirms that this record has been seen by one of our specialist section editors and that the details are correct. In the classification section, we can see the terms that we included in our search highlighted in red. These subject index terms are all fully linked, so you can explore other items. This record also has indexing terms including literature, urban society, rural society and social relations. You can also see where they sit in the subject tree, which again allows you to know which terms to use to broaden or narrow your search. Click on the links to explore further. The place names identify London and Kent as the areas covered. Again, you can click on the broader terms to explore further if you want to widen your search. The person as subject field has some other useful links. You can click on Charles Dickens to see the other resources we have in the BBIH. Or you can link through to the Oxford Dictionary of National Biography. Or you can click through to the National Archives to see what they have on him. The field below gives us the exact date range covered in the book chapter and the last field gives any indexing data that didn't fit into our subject indexing structure. Looking at all this information you might think this is exactly what I need but how do I get my hands on it? If a book is available on open access or full text is available from your library there will be a link at the bottom of the record which also links to any reviews. If it is an article from an online journal, there will be links to the article and journal website. Provided your institution subscribes to the journal, you will go straight through to the article in one click. If not, you will at least access the abstract. But if, like this book chapter, it is not available on open access, you can use these finding tools at the top of the record. The first icon links through to your institutional library to see if they have a copy. Or you can search on Google Books or on Library Hub. Now I'm sure you are all desperate to start using the bibliography for your own research, but there are just a few more things to mention. This tool here to cite this record will save you so much time when you are up against an essay deadline. Simply click on it, select the referencing style you need and click copy. Then you can just paste this into your footnotes and you can carry on with your essay. If you have a lot of records you want to export, 
you can use this export function with the option to download or email them. Or if you prefer Zotero, simply click on your add-on and the records will download into Zotero straight away. So that is a thorough breakdown of everything you get in a BBIH record. It's a lot to take in in one go and you probably won't use all the features all the time, but we hope that this video has helped you navigate the site a little easier. Remember, you can make your search as basic or as complex as you want, and the BBIH is there to help you, not only to impress your tutors with your extensive knowledge of resources, but also to save you a lot of time and energy with our referencing tools. Good luck using the BBIH.